Alrighty, what is up my fellow champions of the realm? It's your boy Apache here today, and we're going to be talking about the Atlas Advanced Guide. Okay, okay. So, first thing we're going to do is talk about, like, kind of cool ways and things about your, like, CDs, you know, things like that, right? So, I got three points, right? The first point, shield angling. So, let's say that I wanted to peek this victor, right? And if I put a flat shield, I can peek him like this, but the second he comes this way, right? Now I have to peek and take damage, correct? Right, so let's say like he sees me and he instantly runs this way. I'm shooting, I'm shooting him. But now I have to peek this way into his damage, you know, and stuff like that. So basically what an angle shield is, when, you, when you're looking for shields, and let's say that he's already here, right? Because I know this, this whole example of him running across is, you know, it's like situational, right? So like, let's say you know somebody's on this corner. Instead of putting a flat shield, what you can do is you can walk on this corner, turn, bang, right here, right? And now you have an angle shield. So if you want to play this corner, right? Now you, you can you can get all of these angles, right? Without having to basically expose yourself, right? So when it comes to shields, you want to angle them so that your team can peek, right? Into an angel that would be dangerous, but it's not. And you don't take any damage, right? So flat shield compared to you just sit here and then boom, boom. Now you have an angle, right? So that is angling shields. If you angle shields, man, you're, you're going to get so much more uh, value out of shields. There's too many times where I see Atlas put flat shields and then they just walk past it. And it's like, bro, what was the shield for? You know what I'm saying? So um, the next thing is going to be called uh, your cooldown management, right? So typically uh, playing as Atlas, right? Uh, what I like to do is I like to fight, fight, fight. I like to shield. The shield is going to protect me as well as give me a little bit of self-sustain as you can see, right? And then if I keep fighting and then right here at the judge, if I want to use my setback or my second chance, Second chance is your strongest ability, in my opinion, because it, you can go from zero to full HP, basically. Um, but, you know, it's going to it's gonna come down to the situation that's going to dictate what you use, right? So typically, as an Atlas player, you're going to see me shielding, fighting, 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 right? And then the second, I'm going to start taking a little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. And then I'm going to use my second chance. It's going to reset me. And it, uh, that's also going to buy me a little bit more time, right? To get my shield CD a little lower, and then bam, I can use that, and it it basically insta reset, right? I want to use my second chance and then be able to. Be, I want to be able to put my shield up right away, right? So that's the most optimal, uh, kind of like resource cooldown management, uh, that I that I like to use, right? Um, other than that, we're gonna talk about the ult usage, right? Nine times out of ten, your ult should look like this. You're gonna pop your ult, walk in, freeze one thing, and you're gonna start fighting the rest, right? Not only is the whole thing one thing usually going to be enough right you don't need to force out more than one freeze um it's it's gonna you're gonna keep ult charge right you're gonna you're gonna be at 40 percent and you're gonna be able to build up your ult really quickly again but you know like you're gonna see a lot of atlases do this you know freeze they're looking for another freeze right freeze they're looking for another freeze right freeze and it's like that whole time as atlas you're not doing damage and i mean if, if you know like atlas like does a lot of damage too Three, four, five, five, you know, like five shots and, and it's not slow. Like, you know, you, you can three burst and support. Like you do good damage, you know, let's see if you get a little headshot in there and, and that's only you shooting them. Right. So like, you don't want to be spending that whole time looking for freeze, freeze, freeze. Like you want to freeze one and then you want to start doing damage. Right. So, um, with that, with that out of the way, right. Let's talk about buys. Honestly, for Atlas, this two strong Aspire is going to be caught because Cod is amazing and he's a decent cost spreader. And Kronos. Kronos because he has very long cooldowns, right? So you want to reduce those, right? Kronos 3, um, as you can see, where is it? This button. The shield is on a 14 second cooldown. With Kronos 3, it's going to be put on a 3, 2, 1, bam, 10 second cooldown. And then with your right click, it's going to reduce it even more, right? So Kronos is going to be very strong on Atlas because making this school down shorter is always better, right? So uh, without uh, with with all that talked about, right, uh, we're actually going to hop into a game and I'm going to basically uh, give you a little like, um, I guess, play by play. I'm going to talk and I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking, things like that, right? So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, and other than that, man. If you like this content, man, leave a like, comment down below what you want to see. Subscribe so you never miss any of my content. And we'll see you all in the next one, all right? Love you guys. Peace. Alrighty, so now we in the gameplay. In the gameplay, so...
Let's see, what am I writing into this? Honestly, Temporal Divide looks pretty nice. It's gonna give my team a lot of uh you know, a lot of a lot of opportunity to poke and stuff like that. So I might actually go big shield here. Um it's gonna be hard to get resets um though, but I think I'll be okay. Let's make this Strix useless! Alright, emitter, interesting. Honestly, like I, I that kinda looks kinda value. Being that the map is a little more accessible now. <clears throat> so we are actually we got caught caught. We're gonna start caught too. We're gonna start caught as well. I don't know if this is important, but especially since my team's gonna rely on my shield to really make plays, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, so Nando is starting left. Oh, I just want a little too many. Take the shield out. Alright, so Trix is looking at me. Good. Good for this ruckus. Ah, uh, lucky. I don't want a hard peek here because I there's no reason for me to take this much damage. Okay, so I'm gonna use that to actually get out here. But that wasn't the best uh, use of a shield. Not gonna lie. Looking for folk. Nah, I couldn't rewind. I might have to actually like take the right side a little bit more. And uh try to enable my DPS. But with my presence, you know? That might be Oh, okay. That was a little a little buggy. Buggy wuggy. Alright, we pushing up this side here. So I wanna take away as much space as I can from the Strix, right? That is the main threat. Right? So we're not even gonna use shield here, we're just gonna force them out. I'm gonna rewind here. Get him off me. Take some space. Burn him. I get his angle here. There we go. Don't get them done. Get me all charged too. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty successful, right? So I feel like the only thing that kind of sucks is like not not like not knowing where the enemy offlane is going to go, not be not being able to contest them straight up. So that kind of sucks. So I might have to play a little more towards that. But I feel like even though they did get into our backline, I was able to get value because the general was very badly positioned, right? But let's say the general doesn't position bad like that again, right? Maybe I should play a little more to kind of see where the enemy's going, right? So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wait up top a little bit longer this time and try to figure out where they're going and then play accordingly. You're almost at my level. Right, so let's see what I can do here. We're actually gonna go straight to the high ground. Gonna be a little late, might get sniped, which is the sucky part, but should be okay. Looking for ruckus, looking for ruckus. Where's ruckus going? Ruckus is going right side, right? Am I gonna pop my oak here? The reason I froze three there is because I wanted to stop the dive. I don't know where he went, damn. Let me get my health back. I'm gonna use that to block. Ah, oh, he turned for me, though. No! Alrighty, so the reason I froze three there was I wanted to just stop the dive, maybe create some opportunities for my team, but the mave still got value. Especially since my team can't see, right? Only freezing one is in value. Get back over here, bitch. Let's 
He's gonna dive and I'm gonna send her back. Ready? Oh, he jumped over it. <laughs> I think we can handle that. Alrighty. So now we're gonna head to the high ground. All right, so I wanna I wanna I wanna maintain space for my teammates. They're not here with me yet, so I shouldn't be right here we're just chilling we're chilling we're chilling i'm gonna reset my hp back i'm gonna rewind him a little bit of time then i shield up so that should could have been better where the where oh man oh i gotta hit those Yeah, I can't solo him. This is crazy. Yep, yep, yep. I need Wrecker. Bad. Or I need my, my DPS to play around me. We gotta chill for a bit. Do you have Haven as well? No. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so Ardama wants us to pee a little bit more, so I might try to play a little slower this time. See what I can do here. That was not necessary, but I'll take it. this with Devora. Nope, I'm probably dead here. My Vora left me. He's just buy me some time, right? And I'm gonna shield. And that's GG. He just waved. That's kind of cute. <laughs> but um, not not too crazy of a game. It wasn't the hardest game, but that's a little bit of a kind of example of how you should be playing Atlas, right? So we were playing into the strict, so we definitely wanted to play the big wall there, and things like that. Oh, let's see. All right, say a little GG to the to the homies. Uh, but yeah, almost top damage. Oh, Yago was popping off, not gonna lie. But um, yeah, so um, I really wasn't able to do the one freeze thing because when Maeve popped her ult or when they looked for a dive, I kind of tried to stop more than one person from coming in. So I froze the Maeve mid to just nullify whatever she thought she was going to do. And then I went for the freeze on the Ruckus to, so that we could all kind of like get ready to focus him. But he did pop ult, so all I had to do there was pop shield and burn him, right? Trading your shield out for Ruckus ult is never a bad thing. And that is definitely value. Alrighty. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the game, man. And uh, yeah. I love some Atlas. Do you?